Hi, my name is Brock Green. I started Oligo Nation nine years ago to fund medical research into more effective treatments for oligodendroglioma. I want to give you a brief recap of, what, of some of the accomplishments and highlights from 2022 and a bit of a preview on what we have planned for next year. Research is our primary mission. So in terms of medical research, the big news is we launched the Oligo Working Group this year. This group of accomplished scientists will work together to increase our knowledge of the disease and get new, new treatments into the clinic in the next two to four years. This working group format addresses one of the big problems in medical research, a very siloed environment that slows down progress and collaboration. This group of researchers from many leading institutions will work together on an ongoing basis, feeding new potential therapies into a platform trial. To fund this work, we've committed a million and a half dollars annually for the next four years. This more than doubles our research funding from previous years, so it's a big deal. I think of this as the Manhattan Project for Oligo. In addition, our previous investments in research resulted in three new clinical trials for Oligo patients that opened late this year. While it's too soon to know how well these therapies will work, the only way we make real progress is getting new therapies into trials. Finally, we're on the cusp of releasing advanced sequencing data to the research community that will provide insight into how oligo operates on a proteomic and metabolic level. This should help us identify new targets for treatment in oligo. In terms of fundraising and community efforts, you know, the big highlight last year was being able to hold in-person events again, specifically in New York in May and in Connecticut in September. While it is, of course, important that these events raised a lot of money, and they did, there is also an important emotional touchstone for those of us living with oligodendroglioma. I have found living with this disease is isolating and a lonely thing. So being with a group of others in our community supporting each other is very good for my soul. We also had a number of folks from the Oligo community step up and hold their own events this year. You'll hear from one of them in a moment, Stanley Courier and his sister Bernadette Gates. But I can tell you that getting your friends involved and in supporting you and research is an awesome way to unlock the love and support that is all around you. Hi, my name is Stanley Courier. Hi, my name is Bernadette Gates, also known as Dada. My personal journey with oligodendroglioma started rather abruptly, as I now understand it does for many people with oligo. I was sitting on my sofa one night in March of 2021 and the next thing I remember, I woke up in the hospital the next day with many tubes up my arms, rather confused and quite groggy. It turns out I'd had a grand mal seizure at home and another at the hospital. Three weeks later, with tons of support, logistics and organization from family, including my sister Detta, who was doing this interview with me, I had a craniotomy at Duke to remove a brain tumor, followed by radiation, chemotherapy, and ongoing chemo through this past June. I was with Stanley and his husband Bauer for several weeks uh, following the diagnosis. Several weeks after Stanley was diagnosed while I was in Washington, DC, he shared with me that he had discovered an organization called Oligo Nation. And I'd love to share with you how he got involved with Oligo Nation thereafter. He had read Spencer and Zach's stories and as he shared them with me, I could really see and hear how the Greens Pathways instilled hope and optimism into Stanley. Brock and I set up a Zoom call to meet and the rest is history. I'd love to share with you why we started Steps for a Cure. The idea of translating research into innovative clinical treatments over the next three to five years through Oligo Nation's efforts really inspired me. So I was really grateful to several family members, uh, Bauer, Safi, um, my cousin Peter Singh and his fiance at the time, Kelsey, as well as my sister Monica, my husband, Alan. We launched the first annual Steps for a Cure in the fall of 2021, which was a Facebook fundraiser, as well as an option for a virtual walk on a designated day, which was six months um, the six month anniversary of Stanley's crane anniversary, the day of his craniotomy. We had a, a great turnout in regards to individuals who participated in the fundraiser, both monetarily as well as through walks throughout the world. Um, 
and this generated a lot of momentum and interest. This year's event, uh, which was held in November of 2022, was extra special in that we were able to gather in person in South San Francisco, the town that Detta, our other sister Monica, and I grew up in, and we were supported by so many family and friends here in the Bay Area. The mood was full of hope and energy, and the turnout was wonderful. After the walk, our father said that on a scale of one to 10, I'd rate today at infinity. There was so much um, optimism and hope generated through Steps to a Cure, and we hope to um, continue that in years ahead. Thank you, Bernadette and Stanley, for sharing your story. It was a great event. It was amazing to be there, and I know that that event will just get bigger and better as years go on. Looking at 2023, this is going to be a year of ambitious undertakings and big changes for us. We're committing to doubling our research funding and our impact in the clinic. This requires a major increase in fundraising through grants, events, major gifts, and donations. The most important thing we hope to do is to get more of you, the Oligo community, involved with us. This will take many forms, but perhaps most importantly, it will be through fundraising. Of course, individual donations all help, but it's when someone in the Oligo community gets their friends and family involved that we're able to scale our impact. Speaking of change, we hired our first employee this month and hope to add another in early 2023. Up until now, we've been a one-man band, me, and that has posed real limitations on what we're capable of. I think we've built a strong foundation with researchers and the Oligo community that will allow us to turbocharge our efforts with the additional expertise and bandwidth we are adding. So thank you for your support this year, previous years, and most importantly, in the years to come, uh, we'll be in touch and look forward to the great things that we can do together.